Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. We are back in the part 3 of X modeling tutorial. Before getting into the tutorial, let me uh, give you all the information. Um, I have got a new channel called Android Palace and it's related with Android devices and I'll be uploading videos related to Android phones, the best apps, best games and how to root your Android device and many more. Currently I just have one video and I'll soon be uploading more videos. Uh, I just have few subscribers. I just opened this channel uh, a few days ago. So I hope you guys, if you are, are interested or if you have been using Android devices, you may definitely want to check this channel and you may want to subscribe to my channel. Um, view some of my videos. I'll soon be uploading more videos related to Android devices. Also, I'll be including iOS devices as well in near future. So that's it. Uh, let's get back to our tutorial okay so today we'll just be creating this uh, final piece right here and we'll we'll conclude this tutorial this piece is really easy we'll do it in just a few minutes so let us go ahead with the cylinder and on the top view let me create this cylinder okay and let me push it in the center also I think this piece is not in the center so let me pull it a little bit okay that's good okay now I have this uh, cylinder right here let me pull it down and go to modify tab no height segments I need a little bit more height well, let's see right here S a little low okay I guess that will be fine and let me just convert it to an editable poly go to face select this top face and insert okay uh, reduce it down be something like that okay and let me pull this up a bit okay okay that's good and let me again okay now this time let me extrude this okay and let me scale this out oops sorry okay let me go right here again this time let me select this vertex and let me scale it out something like this let me pull it up a bit as well and again select the vertex sorry this top face and extrude it okay and scale it down this time yes something like that and let me go to the front view and oh, let me do some modifications let me increase the size of this one a bit and let me pull this down a bit and let me make it more smaller. Oops, sorry, front view. Okay. Now I can just weld those together. Okay. With some amount. Okay. That doesn't matter. And let me go ahead and select this is right here. This one and do a loop. And let me do a chamfer. Okay. A little bit of segments as well. Maybe four or five. Okay and also this one as well loop and do a chamfer not too much for this one okay, let's see we need a little bit of sharper ease right there maybe something like this okay that'll be fine and I'm gonna again select this top face right here and do a quick connect let me do about two segments okay that's good and for this one as well let me do a loop and do a chamfer that maybe just two segments okay that'll be fine okay that is done and let's go down here or let me pull this up okay go to vertex and just pull this down right something like this so now we are going off the blueprint because I have not made anything uh, on the sketch so let me pull this down and from here on again we need to extrude a simple piece let me extrude okay, maybe amount to about five so five and something that doesn't matter and again uh, pull it down again and this time let's go to about 50 okay and I guess it's too getting too long so let me pull this part right up something around here okay and for the bottom part what I'm gonna do is um, let me create a sphere from the top view okay 
so for the segments I'm gonna set it to 18 and that's that's the segment for our cylinder I guess uh, let me create one cylinder and see what's the default size okay that's 18 you can see here so 18 for our sphere as well and let me pull this sphere down on the bottom right here let me convert it to an editable poly and delete the half face uh, or stop that'll be good half. Or maybe I'll deal this one this this one as well and for this piece I'll just delete this bottom face right here okay delete that and we're gonna connect these two together okay so that we have this round rounded corner at the bottom and let me scale it down to match the size okay that's good and let me just rotate it so that the segments are continuous and let me attach this to this piece right here okay now I'm gonna select this vertice right here and do a weld okay I guess they are done okay with this we get this uh, nice piece right down here and again for this piece right here we're gonna do let's see uh, okay first of all let me go to this piece here and set one is do a ring and control click this polygon so that we can select all those polygons right there and do a quick extrude by polygon oops sorry uh, local normal and not too much maybe about one or maybe 1.5 1.5 okay that would be good okay and set select this edges top corner edges and do a loop and do a quick chamfer just a little bit amount and one segment okay now next thing select this oops, and these all edges do a connect maybe four or maybe five six guess six will be good and go to vertex this one first let me scale it down and again this one let me scale it down as well so it is uh, I'm making a little bit different than this one uh, something similar but it might be a little different okay so doesn't matter at all let me s okay again go to the is mode I have all those as a select so let me do a chamfer this time with a little more amount and a little more segments as well okay something like that okay and with that we are done with this bottom piece as well if you want to make this shorter or longer you can just select all these vertex and pull it up and down okay I think it should be a little longer okay that's good or you can also scale this part okay you can scale this so if you don't want this to be thicker at the top you can just add in one segment right here let's do a connect just one and pull it down somewhere uh, around like this and then just accept that select everything else and just scale that out so that you get a little thicker at the bottom okay okay or uh, you can just use on your own imagination and create whatever you like okay with that we conclude this tutorial right here and I hope you guys learned a lot in this part 3 tutorial for X modeling uh, so we'll see you soon with more tutorials and don't forget to subscribe and hit like and also don't forget to check my new channel for called Android Palace okay guys see you soon thank you for watching and have a nice